Hi guys and welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to be taking you through an application which I think is really good for podcasters. It gives you the opportunity to give them give your podcast a little bit of a zing in terms of social media. You can also create videos for your YouTube channel if you've got one of those to repurpose your content. I think it's a really good idea and uh, so I'm going to take you through some of the steps you need to use this, this uh, app. So first of all you need to go into your Play Store and then when you're in there you want to go into headline so headliner like that oh right, wrong one headliner headliner there you go so you click on that and this is the app now you may have heard about this before i think it's a really good app because not only does it give you a lot of customization that you can use it's a free app but also it, it some of the options do a lot of the hard work for you so you don't even have to worry about it you can just set it up and let it do its thing so i'm um, first of all i'm going to go into and open it up you have to create an account which um, obviously you just do a lot of things these days and on here i've got some of my videos i've already started so obviously from my um, particular podcast itself if you go down here you can there's two options here there's automation and audiogram so if i start with audiogram first it asks for your podcast so if i you can upload the the file directly to headliner but if you have a podcast already and you've already done the app you've already done the episode and it's already on your your podcast feed then you can just search for it on here so my podcast is man about life and then if i search for that that's my podcast at the top there so i click on there and it will take you to all of the episodes that's on your feed so i've got all of my episodes here so if i click on the top one just for the argument's sake and then it will take me to this wizard which allows you to create a certain snippet of your podcast so you can have as long or as little as you want up to a certain point obviously 10 minutes is the maximum and then you can play that to make sure it's the right bit that you want and then if you click next it will take you to choose which format you want or the aspect ratio so you can have portrait for instagram and stories you can have square which is best for twitter and facebook or you can have landscape for youtube and websites so if i say i want to do a youtube one so i'll do that it then gives you your logo in the background with a waveform on the top. So you can change the waveform, you can change the color of it, you can have different colors. You can, use, you can also choose it from a color wheel, or you can choose what the waveform looks like. So this is very popular at the moment, the circle, or you can have just the dots or something like that. There's loads of options available to you. I'm going to keep mine as it is there. And then if I go back, I can also add an image into the post so I can put an image in there or change the background, things like that, which is a really cool idea. I can also add text as well. So I can, if I want to put in here, for example, please subscribe. I can do that and then I can change that as well. I can move it around on the screen. I can change the size of it. I can change the color of it. I can have different styles. I can highlight it. I can put blur and shading onto it lots of different options on there that i can use i can change the font as you can see things in there really lots of customization available and then if i go back again and i do create video it will then render that video for me and it's a really good idea because then it's a very quick process and what you have then is you have a snippet that you can then put on your social media and uh, promote your podcast i mean everyone knows that social media posts that have a picture or a video attached to it do far better in searches and and has much more engagement than just a text-based post so it's a really good idea for that point of view so it's just rendering that but i'm going to go back here i'm not going to let that render i'm just going to go back here so you can see the other option here and the other option is the automation and again you have to search for your feed which i'm going to do there so i've got that again there like that Oh, click on that it asks me what what language i want it to be in what language i'm doing so i'm going to keep it on that oh no sorry back into that again uh, it asks me what language i want so i'm going to say keep it as it is and again you get the option to do the short video for promotional purposes which is what you had before what i showed you just now or you can do the full length the entire podcast episode for youtube things like that so i'm saying i don't want to do that again i can choose landscape or square or portrait so i can go for youtube and then it gives you some templates that you can choose so i'm going to choose this template for the argument's sake but there's lots of templates out there that you can choose and you can scroll through all the different templates to pick the one that you want 
and it will give you a preview here of what it will look like and again you can change the waveform from the color picker you can change the saturation you can change the background color and things like this if you've got background images on there it's um and that's it that's the whole process and then what you do is you click start getting automatic videos and what it will do is it will email to you the completed video so that's it it's all done so what will happen now is obviously you signed up with an email on headliner it will then email you that completed video to your email account that you put in headliner and it will do that as soon as a new episode drops onto your rss feed or onto your podcast um, platform so you don't even have to create a new video every time you do it as soon as you put it onto your platform that you're hosting a podcast headliner will pull it it will create the video and it will email you a link to the completed video so it's really really easy you haven't even got to think about it and then you have the complete video or the snippet there ready done for you all you've got to do is download it or share it to wherever you want to do and that and i think that is a really good um way of doing it. it's a really good idea and i say i've done this many times before as you can see on here and i think it really works very well because it gives you great automation that you haven't got to worry about you haven't got to uh, worry about doing you know your own particular design things like that you can have different colors so if your podcast has a particular color brand associated with it like green or yellow you can have green and yellow incorporated into your soundbar or things like this or into the text it's a really good all-round app and it certainly does make things a lot easier for you if you have a podcast and stuff like that please let me know if you use headliner or if you have a uh, another app that you use that you does similar things let me know or if you have any comments or tips for other people that you think you would be helpful to them please let me know and um and i'm going to be doing a few more of these videos about things to help podcasters and and uh, obviously photo editors and audio editors and things like that in, in uh, going forward so if there's any particular apps that you want me to cover please let me know in the comments and i'll do a video for them as well thank you for joining me and until the next time see you later bye bye